more excited that Tori Lavallo is sticking around as the manager Woo! for the Arizona Diamondbacks. I think we're both fairly excited about that. It's hard not to root for Tori. It's hard not to like Tori when you've met him and know him in real life. And even just as a fan, if you've never met him, if you listen to his press conferences, if you've listened to the sincerity in his voice, it's hard not to be a fan of this sure. guy and want him uh, to maintain, uh, uh, to stay as manager of the team. I know a great a of leader people, of men. A great leader of men. That's a great point. He signs a one-year contract extension, keeping a manager of the D-backs until 2024. I think one of Tori Lovello's finest qualities, obviously, is what he's been able to do with the young young guys coming up, right? The minor leaguers, their adjustment to the major leagues has been overall consistent enough that I feel like it goes beyond those guys being ready. I feel like it has to do with Lavello and his coaching staff helping them adapt very quickly to the major leagues and, and sticking around. That doesn't happen for everybody, and it's actually usually more common that they do go back down to the minors and, and kind of have those options utilized and up and down. Uh, but... You know, right now what we're seeing is more guys staying up, more guys maintaining time at a major league level. Doesn't look like Corbin Carroll is going anywhere anytime soon. So I feel you like hope not. I hope not. So I feel like that's a big part of what Tori Lavello uh, brings to this. I I know a lot of people question his managing. Yeah. I know that, so, and I get that. So Tori Lavello has critics, absolutely right. Yep. As, As does every, every, manager every manager in Major League yep. Baseball. However, I feel like from from my standpoint. I have been one of the biggest Tory Lovello supporters since he started his time in Arizona. Sure. Right? Started off very hot. Right? It started off extremely hot. Yeah. So he obviously Hazen and Tory are kind of a package deal. Right. I think you don't get one without the other unless it were to turn south here and go south for the next two years, right? Because yeah, yeah. he obviously just got extended. I don't see that happening. I mean, this organization is in a, a position where I think that you're looking at a three to four year window where they're going to be extremely competitive. Sure. Year in and year out, obviously, situations change. Yeah. No guarantees, but it feels like they're very much in a good position. What to I don't be understand successful. is the people who sit at home on their couch and feel like they can make better decisions than Tori does, right? And 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 at times, we all question something that Tori has done. Sure. Tori either sometimes has too much faith in his guys which that's that's a more rare instance for him yeah. i feel like sometimes he errs on the side of having too much caution we saw that with the zach gallon for instance Correct. in this weekend's game with the braves he let zach gallon go to 110 pitches on the pitch count which is a season high and you know he probably reluctantly wanted to do that but he did it because gallon was so close to getting out of that sure. inning that he wanted he him needed to him be able to get to out of it, it. right yeah. right and, and and he already had said he regretted pulling zach gallon in the sixth inning in, in a previous start Correct. and letting the bullpen go out there and kind of blow it. Now, so. like I take I take some serious issue with people that go on Twitter and say that he is inept as a manager because he is not. Sure. He sure. he actually pulls the right strings a lot. Yeah. Like he is he has impacted this season in a way that can only be described as positive. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like coming into the season, most national outlets put this team under seventy five wins. Right, Jake from Jake, John Boy. We're looking at you. Yeah, and we will call you out on it when yeah. you're in studio. <laughs> we we'll, we we don't we don't forget. We don't um, forget here. But, but like yeah. you know what I mean. Like yeah. Tori, yes, has Which, he made by some the way, calls? I don't feel like was fair because I was talking about it with Damon earlier. I was talking about it with a couple of other people. I've had that question come up. Like, did you really deep down inside think that this team could be this good this yes. year? And the answer kind of is yes. And the reason why is because last year the bullpen lost 40 games, right? Mm -hmm. And had they lost 30 games, it still would have been at the back end of one of the worst bullpens in baseball. But those 10 games would have made the difference for them to be that what reach yeah. 88 wins, right? Like, so there, there is something to be said about how close this team was last year, even though it didn't appear that yeah, they were very I, close, right? Oftentimes managers take a lot of the blame for stuff that's not on them right sure like right? they trust a bullpen arm to go like, out there like and get everybody, the job done when, and they when don't. this team lost 110 games mm -hmm. everybody wants to put that on the manager of course but look at the well, roster and, that he was given and the manager in this case being Tori Lovello takes that upon himself he did right? and he did right? he owned up to it right well when we had his pre press conference this weekend and one thing that Lovello said was that he has been through some dark times here sure. with Arizona. but He's also been through some great times. Well, and that's why he appreciates them sticking with him so much. In fact, he said, Tori Lovello said this weekend, uh, that he wants to stay in Arizona forever. And in fact, 
Here's a clip of Tori Lovello's press conference and him talking about how much he appreciates getting this one-year contract extension. I want to stay here for the rest of my life. I love Arizona. My family, my wife, we love Arizona. Um, and I want to I want to be here for, for every day of the rest of my career and, um, and honor whatever contract is, is thrown at me. Um, it would be great to get a lifetime contract, but that just doesn't happen in sports. I, I have, for whatever reason, work, been able to work through some very tough times here, and I'm more grateful for that than I am any, any new contract that I'm getting. They stuck with me, and I owe this organization my absolute best effort. So when they offer me something, um, of course I want as long-term deal as possible, but I'm grateful for this extension. You can't. You can't. I mean, how can you not love <laughs> I'd that I'd run guy? through a wall for that, man. It's like, it's like uh, Eduardo Escobar said, I would die for Tori, and I would die for Tori. Like, Tori is that kind and of it, guy. And if Eduardo Escobar talks about you like that, Eduardo Escobar is some of the best, like, like – Good person, yeah, right? He's, like he's Eduardo Escobar guy. is he's quite possibly guy. one of the best people in Major League Baseball. Yeah. And if you have a guy like that talk about your character in yep. that regard, I don't know how you can find somebody else that's that that impacts people on a deep level like that. Right. You got to be very objective here when it comes to this team, the talent, basically what Tory was provided in order for him to win. And I think the front office is very realistic about that, right? I think the front office very much knows that, like, 2021 doesn't fall on ter Tory's no, shoulders. The however, roster was bad. However, you're still the manager. Sure. And you're still, you still feel responsible for that. I, like, Tory is one of those people that, I mean, he even said, he was like, he goes, I'd, I'd love to be a you know, lifetime contract, right? Those don't happen in sports. But, like, he, he really does want to stay here. And I have a, have a problem when it comes to the question – who, if you don't want Tory here, who would you rather have in his place, right? Who is going to be more successful? And I don't know the answer to that. I mean, Gilbert obviously said Bob Melvin. We love Bob Melvin we here. We love Bob Melvin. Bob Melvin. He's one of the top Honestly, three yeah, he, he, managers. I would definitely bring him back if yeah. he was available. Sure. But I think Tory's in a spot right now where I just trust. I mean, I trust Tory. Like, uh, it's interesting because Bob Melvin is in the exact opposite position that Tory Lovello is in. Bob Melvin was given everything, everything, all, all of the assets, right? But and still, even in that case, when you look at that Padres team and where they're really failing at, they really focused entirely on you know position players and not so much on the pitching, which sure. is really what wins ball games, right? So even in that case, I don't know if Bob Melvin is completely at fault for that team's shortcomings for now, but I wouldn't be surprised to I, see them turn it back on, you know. You know, I would not be surprised if next year, after next season. Right after the 2024 season. So I'm speaking hypothetically now a year and a half from now, probably, sure. right? To see him get that long term extension. Yeah. A lot of people are like, well, why, like, why are we just extending him year after year after yeah. year after year? Yeah. It's, well, this organization knew that Waltori was going to take the onus of the bad years, the 2020, 2021, 2022 seasons, right? He was going to take that upon himself. Sure. And as as the failure that you know he yeah, put forth or whatever, yeah, that's his fault. That they still trusted him when their plan came to fruition, right? Yeah. Their minor league system that they've been drafting and developing for the last six years. Sure, they knew when that crop of kids came through. There's your litmus test. Yeah. yeah, right. When we've got Corbin Carroll coming up to the big leagues, when we've got Gallon pitching on all so Merrill yeah. Kelly all all of a sudden, like we just surrounded you with one of the best staffs in baseball. Right, like Bannister's great. Um, yeah, their their the, coaching staff is incredible. Like it's an all star line. Right, it's like Brett Strom is highly regarded as one of the best pitching coaches in baseball. We're, we're deep at manager. Right, we so, could we could lose two managers. We still have a third manager. To exactly. Step up so here's your litmus test. Sure, but we're not going to give you a full extension until we see what you do. Past, I mean, we're at what the 57, 58 game mark we're, in the yeah, season. We're one third of the way through the season. Correct. We still got so we're not going to give go. you a full yeah. extension for five or six years, right? We're only going to extend you through next year. Yeah. We know that there's potential to be good this year. If you make the playoffs and you honestly, everybody kind of put them around a contender for a third wild card spot. If you contend for, eh, if you contend I don't for know a division, they, I don't know if they did that. I don't know if anybody put them in contention. Maybe it was just me. Maybe it was just maybe, us. Maybe it was just here, us. But like, I mean, yeah, you're right. But there. but if you a contend for just a wild card spot, but b right now they're contending for the division yeah, spot, very, like very for so. for the division winner spot. So this is a okay. We trust you through next year, right? You make the playoffs this year. 
you then go and contend for another division winning season, season next, next year. year. Yeah. The bag's yours. Maybe. And that, maybe the bag's the yours. Case. Now, Mike Hazen did make comments as to why now was the right time to sign Lavallo to an extension. And we actually have that from the press conference the other day. Here's what, here's what Hazen had to say about why signing Lavallo now, especially while the team was doing well, was, was kind of a priority. I've been talking to Derek and Ken about it. And, you know, getting to the end of this homestand, getting into the month of June, third of the way through the season, the way the team has been playing, um, and the team's been playing this way the entire time. I mean, from spring training on, I think the degree of preparation that we see that goes in with this, with Tory and with his coaching staff, is something that we think is an asset of ours. Um, the way the team plays for him, that's been fairly consistent, even in the seasons where it hasn't gone extremely well on the on the win from a win loss standpoint. And it's something we're looking to culturally looking to continue. Um, to make sure is here every every day for us. Um, the investments that he has made into our players, I want to make sure that those investments can be made back. Uh, I think that's an important piece of the young club that we have and where we're looking to get to. Um, I think he's an extremely, um, he, he's, he's a very, very good game manager. He does a great job with our bullpen, those types of decisions, but I think what he does outside of that is even more impressive and more important for us. And I think he's responsible for a lot of the growth of some of our younger players and the coaching staff that is also responsible for the growth of our players. I think this group has done an incredible job. And, you know, we have a long way to go. We're only a third of the way through the season, so it doesn't matter. But to this point, we've, 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 we've played good, good hard baseball for a solid two months. Now, another really interesting thing about uh, Mike Hazen's comments was he was asked a couple of times why just the one year deal or variations of that question. And Hazen made interesting comments about the one year deal lining up with everyone else. That's kind of what he said, the group or everyone else. And he was meaning himself and yeah. he was meaning some of the coaches. Yeah. So it feels very much like they're in this together. They they are. And I'm not they're saying it's like a must win together. now, right? But <laughs> sing it. Go, Faj. Go, Faj. <laughs> but like it's not a. It's not really a must win now, but we've talked about that window being open with Zach Gallen only being here for two more sure. seasons. We've talked about how it opened sooner than they thought. 